I'll put some neon green paint so that we can see it nice okay. and clear. <laughs> Um, so just as a reminder, there's usually a right side and a wrong side to a palette, and it depends on yeah. how the hole is cut out. But this hole is actually yeah. cut vertically, so there is no right or wrong side to this particular palette. Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> because it doesn't yeah. have a slant in the hole. Uh, this is the first time I've seen yeah. a palette without a slant in a hole. I don't know where I got these um, from. But anyways, normally I would make a big deal about what's your upside up and what's your <laughs> downside, yeah. but this is a unique palette. Um, and just as a reminder, when we put the paint down, we're putting it on the outside edge. Um, so we put the paint on the outside edge and then we mix in the middle. And then I put my light colors closest to the thumb hole and the dark colors furthest uh -huh. away. This neon green okay. is a little bit on the lighter side. So I'm going to put it towards the lighter side of my palette. Mm -hmm. So just a little review there. Okay, so how much paint goes on your brush? I'm using like a medium sized brush. I'll hold it in front of my skin so you can see it um, clearly. Yeah. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to make tiles, right? And so we mm -hmm. need enough paint that it's actually covering from one tile to the next, but we don't want so much paint um, that we get what's like these edges on the side. Yeah. Right? Um, so this is approximately how much paint I put on my brush. Oh, yeah. All right. And then when so, I lay the tile down, I'm just going to tile on the palette here. When I lay the tile down, I don't want a ridge on either side. I want it to be yeah. one clean note. Um, and so in order to get this amount of paint, usually what I do is I like dip it a couple times and then mm -hmm. just on the side, I'll test it before I put it on uh, my canvas. And that way yeah. I get an idea of how much. Now I find um, that if I'm leaving, if I can see the strokes of the bristles in here, it means that I'm trying to put too mm -hmm. much paint on my brush because it's going to leave those edges. So that's why I do it a little bit off to the side. And then when I lay down my next note next to the first one, it should be a nice clean note. So it's enough mm -hmm. that it's covering completely. I'm uh -huh. not seeing through. It's not fuzzy, mm -hmm. you know, because the yeah. other mistake people make so let me show you an example of not enough and too much. So not enough would be this much. Do you see how the yeah. note isn't yeah, covering the that. canvas? Mm -hmm. And then too much would be like this, where do you see how, um, I, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a ridge, we call this a ridge mm -hmm. on the side where there's like, there was too much paint on the brush. And so it pushed it off to the side and kind of made a lump on yeah. the side here. So that's too much. This is not enough, and this is what you're going for.